So we've talked about the etiology of the disease. We've talked about when do I decide to treat them, the conversations I have with patients. Now we have to talk about what our treatment options are. What materials can we use for these class fives? So I think it boils down to a few different materials. The first materials that can be used are a glass ionomer or a resin modified glass ionomer. For me, I don't like using those materials simply because I find that they just don't have a great polish. They don't maintain their polish. And I think the aesthetics are typically mediocre to poor. The advantage you do get with glass ionomers and re resin modified glass ionomers is that they have a fluoride release. So I could see for a geriatric patient that has issues uh, with decay, that that could be uh, an acceptable material to use for those type of patients. But there's gonna be limited aesthetics. So typically I'm gonna be looking at some sort of composite, some sort of resin to restore those areas. And your three options in today's world are either using a microfill only technique, which is what we're gonna to describe today, or for deeper lesions, I may talk about doing, or may use a nanofill layered with a microfill technique. I'll describe that in just a moment. Finally, one of the options that many dentists like to use are flowable composites. And I wanna talk about why I don't like flowable composites for these class fives. The advantage of using flowable composites, it's easy to flow them into the lesion. But here's the downside. Number one, with flowable composites, the filler of the composite is much lower than if we're using our traditional composites. What does that mean? Essentially, you're gonna get a higher wear rate, and you're gonna have a poor polishability of your composite, and you're gonna have faster, mar faster marginal breakdown of the material. The other thing I don't like about the flowable composites is they're, the, they're more translucent than the typical materials or our, our traditional materials, which means the value or the brightness of the restoration is gonna be a little bit low relative to natural tooth structure. So for those two reasons, the aesthetics, I think the value is typically low, and number two, the wear rate of the flowable composite because it's less filled, I tend to shy away from using flowable composites for these NCCL app fraction repairs.